Hello Diecast fans and welcome to another brand new episode of Jim's Magnificent Miniature Motor Cars. And uh, to an unboxing I've actually been looking forward to for quite some time. This BMW M4 GT3 by Mini GT, which oddly enough, okay, as odd as this may sound, is numbered 347 and yet somehow managed to come out much later than this version, which is numbered 439. I really don't understand how many GT's manufacturing and distributing works and distribution works, but for some reason, the earlier car came out way later than the later version. I don't really know how or why. But who cares? What's important is that I finally get to check out this beauty. Now, okay, you do know that I had previously unboxed an M4 GT3. Thought it was very okay, but I had issues with the deco. Let's, let's have a better look at this baby, shall we? Oh my gosh. See, this is when deco makes a difference. So this car is just drop dead gorgeous. And it looks extraordinary in this white, black, blue, and red trim. It's an absolute thing of beauty. See how it compares to the Mugello 12 Hour winner? See, they're the same car, obviously. And they both look great. But I am really not a fan of this wrap. I mean, it is what it is. You know, but when you have a car like this, before you see it in any kind of race livery, you wanna see what the manufacturer has to offer. And I love, I gotta say, I love this deco scheme. Okay, it's still not quite as handsome a car as the Mentally Continental GT3, which I thought was really extraordinarily detailed. I mean, they captured such fine detail. I don't think, I don't think, uh, Mini GT did quite as good a job with, with this BMW uh, M4 GT3. But that said, yeah, seeing in this seeing it in this deco, yeah, this is something I much prefer to the first iteration that I had. So this merits, in my humble opinion, a 9.5 out of 10. Okay, I given the uh, the Mugello winner a 9. Possibly against my better judgment, but whatever. So this has to go higher because, well, I like it better. And it, like I said, it's it's not quite at the level of the Bentley Continental GT3, which got a perfect 10 for me. Nonetheless, Mini GT have really done great work with this car. And that's it for this unboxing. Hope you guys liked it. If you like what you see and you're new to the channel, please consider giving me a like and a subscribe and hitting that notification bell.